Hi everyone and welcome to our Saturday session. This is day six of 21 for our 21 day yoga challenge and my name is Antoinette and it's so good to get to practice with you all. This community that we've created, this wonderful um, set of movements and breath work and making that connection between our bodies and movement and breath. It's, uh, it's, it's an honor to be able to teach you all and then also to practice together. As I was saying to my students today, it's not only a personal commitment that you're making, but it's also a personal commitment that I'm making of 21 days of movement. So thank you all so much for being here today. We're gonna to get started in Sukhasana today, or easy pose, resting on the mat. As you sit on the mat, it may be that you can really feel and sense the hips, right? Again, Maybe noting that habitual pattern of which foot you place on top of the other, or for me today, I'm on the floor, my hips are a little bit sore, so I'm just taking one foot and just bringing it right in front of the other instead of bringing it right on top. It makes kind of a little difference as you're moving through your practice. Let's take a moment to sit up tall. Maybe the hands are just resting gently on the knees. If it feels safe, closing the eyes or keeping the gaze soft. We start to take a good deep inhale in, letting the chest expand and the heart open to the possibilities of this practice today. Toward moving and breathing. Toward listening with intent to whomever you come in contact with today. Today, I am fortunate to have woken up. I have a precious human life. I am not going to waste it. I read that this morning from the Dalai Lama and I just thought, yeah, you know, we woke up today. We get to practice. We get to be right here on our mat, moving our bodies. Grateful gratitude. Continue that deep breath in and out. Sitting up tall. Let's open our eyes now and rise up with our arms on the inhale. Good deep inhale. As you do and you're growing taller, notice what's happening along the shoulder blades as you rise the arms up. Really stretching and lengthening through the middle arms and then exhale out halfway. Start to rotate the wrists as you reach out long. Notice if you're hiking up the shoulders, let the shoulders relax and simply reach out and extend. Hi Yoko, good morning, so nice to see you. Reaching out, extending. Pause here, taking the hands toward the screen, let's exhale round the back, hands come together. The back starts to round, make it exaggerated on this first one, so maybe you feel that lower back, and then inhale as you reach out and extend. Exhale, hands come together. Navel back toward the spine, inhale, reaching out. Like you're gonna give somebody a huge hug today. Exhale, and maybe it's yourself, hands come together. Inhaling, reaching out, and exhale together. Inhaling, reaching out last time, and then exhale, hands come down. Let's inhale with both arms up, reaching up high. As we exhale, let's head over with our left hand to our right knee, right hand right behind us. We'll push the torso up. Now as you do, we start to sit a little taller maybe. We start to take our glance over toward the right side. As we twist, we twist from the abdomen, not the shoulders, and maybe our glance starts to go back toward that right shoulder, maybe only with our eyes. And if it can, maybe our glance goes even farther behind as we twist a little further. Deep belly breath in, letting the belly expand and then contract back in the twist, twisting from the abdomen, not from the shoulders. Come back again, reaching up as we inhale, good deep inhale. Rise up through the middle fingers and then exhale as we head over, left hand, right hand to the left knee, left hand right behind us. 
And again, we start to push the torso up. So we push it forward. And then we twist really from the abdomen, start to take a look over toward that left shoulder. Glance continues maybe over that left shoulder with the eyes. Good deep belly breath in and out in the twist. Finding the breath, come back, good deep inhale, reaching up. As we exhale, we're gonna to start to forward fold. So again, the foot can come out just a little bit if it's on the ground. We feel the hips, we're gonna switch over having the other foot crossed on top in just a moment. But just take a moment just to walk the hands over toward the right side of the knee. We start to feel that left hip grounding down and then we'll move back, coming back toward the midline. And then gently walk the hands over toward the left knee. If you want, you could always take some movement lifting that right hand off just a little bit and then coming back. Hands come back. Start to bring the hands forward and up so they're coming back up toward the midline. And then gently, if you had your left foot in front or left foot on top, switch it out. Rise up with the arms as you inhale. And then exhale as you forward fold. So again, maybe you sense something, maybe you don't. It's okay either way, but just try it out. And then start to walk the hands over toward the right side. Maybe you go a little farther this time in your twist, twisting from your abdomen again, not from your shoulders. You're able to root down with that left hip. And then come back toward the midline, continuing your breath, sinking low, if it feels okay. And then starting to walk the hands over toward the left knee. Again, maybe rooting down now with the right hip, twisting a little further if it feels okay. And then coming back again, back to the midline and coming all the way back up. Let's reach up one last time as we inhale in. Exhale down the right arm. Patting the hands down now toward that right hip. Rise up with the left hand, inhaling. Exhale, a hand over toward the right side. A nice stretch here. Opportunity to take that left hand slightly backwards. Opening up the front of the chest. Inhaling, lifting up as we inhale and exhale coming down. Left hand snuggles in toward that left hip and we rise up with the right hand, inhaling, and then exhale right arm up and over the body. Again, opportunity to start to take that right hand slightly behind you, opening up, and then both arms come up as we inhale. Let's roll over onto our hands and knees, coming into tabletop. As we come into tabletop, hands are starfished in front of us, right in front of the knees, about hip width distance apart. Take a moment to circle the hips here. So we're gonna do a little bit of, inner, of outer thigh rather today as we starfish our hands and rotate the hips. As you rotate the hips, just coming into kind of a, a modified version of a cat-cow, as you rotate the hips up, maybe starting to round the back. And then come back to your neutral zone of tabletop. Let's inhale as we sway the back. Take a look up with eyes and chin. Sink the heart low. Navel back toward the spine. Exhale as you round the back. Tent the fingertips. Start to push the shoulder heads up toward the ceiling. Pad the hands. Inhaling, swaying the back. Look up. Eyes, chin. Kind words that come out of your mouth today. Exhale, rounding the back. Hands patted on the floor. Inhale, back to neutral. Let's take our left hand to the middle of the mat, left knee to the middle of the mat. Right foot's gonna come out, rise up with that right arm as you inhale. Good deep inhale here. Now, you can stay here, or if you want more, you can always bring that left foot out and come into a side plank. And now, either left knee's down and we start to bring that right leg up, or if you want, you're in side plank and you start to bring that right leg up, so your choice. Tiny pulses as you reach up and down. Following your breath, inhaling and exhaling. Or maybe you're here, inhaling and exhaling. So find your way, find that tiny pulse, navel back toward the spine, smiling as you go, challenging yourself even to get into a side plank pose for even a few seconds and then lifting up maybe. Find your way.
Last time on the pulse. Pause, lift up to your fullest expression, and then come down. Right hand comes up and over the body for a stretch. Right arm comes over and down. Come back to tabletop. Let's go to the other side. Right hand to the mat, right knee to the mat, left leg long. So this can be you rising up with your left hand to 12 o'clock, inhaling as you go with left leg up, or side plank. Find your way, and inhale with left leg up. Tiny pulses as you go, inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling and exhaling. Continue on with the pulse. Inhale up to fullest expression. Pause here. Left leg comes down and left arm comes up and over the body. Reach and extend. Circle over and down. Back to your tabletop position. Right leg's just going to come out now for a nice stretch. Splay the toes out on the right foot. Push back on the right calf. Inhaling, rolling up onto the toes and exhaling. Maybe bending the toes. Gently windshield wipering the heel if it feels good to you, right or left. Today it'll be free form. You find your way that resonates with you today. Let, right foot's going to come out toward the right side of the mat and left hand to the left corner of the mat. Let's inhale as we lift limbs. Left arm, right leg. Good deep inhale here. Tiny pulses up and down as you inhale in and exhale out. Inhaling, exhaling. Good deep inhale, exhale. Let's touch down. So really reaching out and then touch all the way down and then come back up again. And touch down and come back up. Touching down, lifting up. Finding your breath with the movement as you lift and extend and then touch down. Last time and touch. And then let's come back to our neutral tabletop. Come up onto our hands and knees. Let's rise up, giving a little relief to the wrist, inhaling. Exhaling down. Inhaling as we lift, good deep inhale. Exhaling down the right arm, rise up with the left hand, inhaling. Exhale, left arm up and over the body. We start to hinge into that left hip, feeling a nice release. Come back as we inhale. Both arms come up. Exhale, down left arm. Rise up with that right arm. Reach up. And then on the next breath, right arm up and over the body, over toward the left side. Jutting out that right hip. Rise up as we inhale. And then exhale down. Let's come back to tabletop. Little relief to the, the wrist. Left foot comes out. You know where we're going to go now. Push back on that calf. Find your breath. Roll up onto the ball of the feet and toes if you want. Again, the movement that resonates with you on this side. Windshield wipering, the heel over toward the right side or the left. Taking that movement. Left foot comes to the left corner of the mat and right hand to the right corner of the mat. We inhale as we lift, coming into bird dog. Navel back toward the spine, our neck is long. As we inhale, tiny pulses and exhale. Just micro pulses up and down, really kicking out with the heel and the hand. Breathing in, breathing out. Lift and extend now with the limbs and now touch all the way down to the corners and then reach back up. Touching down, reaching out. Touching down and reaching out. Touching down and reaching out. Touching down and reaching out. Last time with the breath. Reach out long, kicking out with that left heel, right hand reaches, and then we come down back to our neutral tabletop. Knees come toward the edges of the mat. If it feels good, we sink the buttocks low toward the heels, 
If it doesn't feel good, remember we just keep the buttocks high and we sink the heart low. Nice little release on the lower back. Good deep inhale in. Option on the exhale to engage your pelvic floor muscles, tightening up the abdominal muscles, and then releasing. Good deep inhale. Option again on the exhale, tightening up the pelvic floor muscles and abdominals. And then coming back again. That also helps release the back just a little bit by creating some tension coming back in to our tabletop position. We're going to go one more time in our side plank. So left hand to the mat, left knee to the mat, right leg is long, rise up with that right arm. So again, you can be here, right, or you can be in a full side plank, pausing here. So everyone inhaling, and as we exhale, we're going to take that left, left, right leg and bring it up. Tiny pulses as we go up and down. Finding your own breath, inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling and exhaling. Good deep inhale and an exhale. Last time, and down. Let's circle over and down. Let's go to the other side. Right hand to the mat. Right knee to the mat, left leg is long. Rise up, reaching up with that left arm, inhaling. Right knee can stay down and just lift that left leg up or come into a full side plank. Pausing here as you inhale. And then on the exhale, coming up. Oops. Bringing it down and then coming up. Finding your breath, rooting down with that right hand, rising up with that left arm and finding that lift and lower, using the core. Last time, and then circle over and down, come back into tabletop. Rise up, knees down, arms up, reaching up. Good deep inhale. We're gonna take our left hand to our right elbow. I'm just gonna face my back to you so you can see if you need to. Taking the right hand in between the shoulder blades. Taking a good deep inhale in, let's exhale and just hinge over to the left side. Finding a nice stretch here, where it might be enough just to stay exactly the way you are. Rise up, both hands reaching up. Exhale. Left hand comes in between the shoulder blades and maybe we start to hinge over toward the right side. So just taking a nice stretch here. Coming back, inhaling, reaching up. Again, a little bit of release on the wrist. And then we'll come back down to hands in our tabletop. We're gonna come down onto our forearms now. And first I'd like you to just take both hands and measure out your elbows, making sure your fingertips and elbows can touch one another. And then bring your hands back out in front of you. Now, start to bring both feet out so you can come into a forearm plank. If this is not in your practice, if it might be a little too difficult for you, just bring the torso down and come into sphinx pose, right? You can get just that added benefit of the shoulders. If you feel okay to come into a forearm plank for a moment, let's come in for a count of six breaths together. The buttocks should be slightly up so you're using the abdominal muscles and you can play around with it too, bringing the buttocks slightly down. So find your way as you inhale in and exhale out. One and two and three, navel back toward the spine and four, five and six. Everyone come down with hips down toward the mat. And we're gently gonna bring the, the torso, the, the full body down toward the mat. Neck is long, we're gonna starfish our hands right underneath our shoulders. We did this a night or two ago, maybe last night. And we'll start to take our elbows in toward our chest. Inhale as we start to come up into cobra. So I'm using the biceps now. And then exhale coming down. Inhaling as we lift. Exhaling as we lower. Inhaling as we lift. And exhaling as we lower. Inhaling. And exhaling. Last time, inhaling, push all the way back up into tabletop. 
pause here for a second, and then let's push back into child's pose. Again, knees can come back. This time you could rest your forearms on the mat, head can be on the mat, sinking the head low. Again, that opportunity for the inhale, and on the exhale, tightening up pelvic floor muscles. Inhaling, exhaling, and tightening up pelvic floor. Really good deep inhale. This is your rest. Exhale. Come back to your tabletop. Start fishing the hands in front of you. Tucking the toes under. Let's come into a downward facing dog together. So really starfish out the hands so you have a good solid base as you push the hips up toward the ceiling. We start to sink the heels low, or if the hamstrings are very tight, we can just gently pedal the feet. So we've explored in the last couple of classes of lifting and lowering our leg, which you're welcome to do, or you can stay in downward facing dog. Or if being upside down, you, it doesn't work for you, you can stay in tabletop for just a moment and just work on extending the legs. Let's inhale as we take the left leg up now and play around with this. So you can keep that left leg extended or you could bend that left knee, flexing that left foot and start to look under that left armpit. Just adding a little bit to your stretch, really pushing out with the hands so you're rooting down with the arms. And then rising up that left foot, let's bring the left foot down. Inhale as we take that right leg up, reach up, rooting down with the hands, and then bending that right knee, we start to take a look under that right armpit. On the next breath, bringing that right heel up, and then right heel is gonna come back down again. We're gently gonna bring the feet up about halfway to the mat. Inhale up to a half lift. Pause here for just a second as you slightly rock the weight up onto the ball of the feet. Heels come off the mat and gently start to rock the weight toward the heels and lift the toes off the mat, splaying the toes, and then come back. Inhale, we take our hands to our shins and we push away flat back. Exhale as we forward fold, hands come down toward the mat. Take the feet and start to toe heel them out. So again, they're about hip width distance apart or maybe a little bit more. If it feels okay, we could have a gentle bend in the knees if we have lower back issues. And gently, we're going to take both elbows with the hands and let the head be heavy as you sink low. Again, if this does not feel good, then just come up to Dadasana and wait for us and find your breath. If it feels okay in your forward fold, gently just take a moment to shake the head yes. Yes to the possibilities of this day, this practice. And no, releasing any negative energy, any negativity. We feel the long neck, neck muscles just start to kind of release. Take another yes, shake of the head, and gently bring the feet back toward the hands, toe heel the feet back together, and then with the knees slightly bent, let's start to roll the body up, gently and slowly. For some of us, we might need a moment just to kind of be upright in this vertical position. Let's rise up with both arms. Find your breath here, good deep inhale. Exhale down. Let's inhale up, rise up with the arms, inhaling. And exhale down your right arm. Rise up as you reach down, rooting down with that left foot, rising up with the left hand. And then again, just like we were doing on hands and knees, jutting out that left hip, we start to reach and extend toward the right side. Open up the chest as you take that left hand slightly behind you, opening up as fully as you'd like and then both arms come up, reach up. So just kind of a free flow expression of movement, exhaling down your left arm, rise up with your right hand, rooting down and rising up. Inhaling, and as we exhale, let's head over, right hand heads over toward the left side, jut out that right hip so you really feel a nice release in the right side. Right hand comes behind you as fully as you want as you open up and then bring both arms up, reach up, good deep inhale. Exhale, hands to prayer, let's find our way here. And just like we were doing as we were in our forward fold, that opportunity now to on the inhale, drawing up, heels off the floor. 
coming up to your fullest expression to find your balance. Remember, if you have a wall or a chair, you could slightly just touch so that you could really fully come up and then come down on the next breath, using the core, right, to make, this, make these movements. We start to rock the weight toward the heels. Let the hands come down beside you, shoulder blades together as the feet, the toes come up. We splay the toes out like you're gonna high five, and then toes come down. We feel that grounding connection of the feet, the whole soles of the feet, the toes, as they make contact with the mat, being present right here and right now with where we are, proprioceptively on our mat. Our hands are down beside us and we take a good deep inhale in and an exhale out. Let's reach up as and extend and move in and out of some warriors now. Exhale, hands to prayer, right knee's gonna come up. Inhaling, growing taller on the left side. We'll exhale, step back to warrior one. Reach up. Now we're gonna forward fold and come into a little humble warrior today. Humble, grateful, inhaling. As we exhale, we're gonna bow forward over that left leg. Hands will come back behind us. If it feels okay to clasp the hands together, do that. If that's not possible for you, you can always take the elbows or you can just bring the hands behind you. Coming in. Good deep inhale here. Navel back toward the spine so you're using the core, exhaling. Inhaling as we rise up with both arms, inhaling in. Exhale, hands to prayer, right foot meets the left. Good deep inhale. Exhale, Tadasana. Go over to the other side, reach up. Good deep inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands to prayer, left knee up. Inhale, grow taller on the right side. We use the core and then we exhale, step back to warrior one, reach up. Inhaling. As we exhale, forward fold over that right knee. Hands come back behind us. Humble warrior or hands clasped together. Inhaling in, navel back toward the spine to use the core, exhaling. Inhaling as we rise up, both arms, good deep inhale. Exhale, hands to prayer, left foot meets the right. Inhaling in. Exhaling, Tadasana. Inhaling with arms up, rise up. Exhaling, right knee comes up, hands to prayer. Inhale, grow taller on the left side. Exhale, kick out right foot. Inhale, come back. Exhale, kick that right leg back without touching down. We kick out and use right buttock and hamstring. And then bring the right knee back up. Exhale, kick out. Inhaling. Exhaling, kicking back. Inhaling. Exhaling, kicking forward. Inhaling. Exhaling, kicking back. Inhaling. Left knee, right knee up. Exhale, kick forward. Last time, inhaling. Right knee comes back. And then right knee comes back down. Let's go over the other side. Inhale as we rise. Good deep inhale. Exhale, hands to prayer. Left knee up. Inhale, grow taller on the right side. Exhale, kick out. Inhale, come back. Exhale, kick back that left leg. Squeeze left buttock and hamstring. Inhale, come back. Left knee, hip height. Exhale, kick out. Inhaling. And exhaling. Finding your breath. Making that movement. Kicking back. Inhaling, finding your balance and kicking out. Inhaling, exhaling, kicking back. Inhaling last time and exhaling, left knee comes down. Good deep inhale here. Wiggle your toes in case you were gripping the mat. Exhaling, hands down beside you. Reach up and extend as you inhale in. Let's exhale as we forward fold, just taking a break as we move forward, inhaling up to a halfway lift, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rising up, good deep inhale. Exhale, hands to prayer, right knee comes up. 
Inhaling in. Exhaling, let's step back to warrior one. Rise up. Good deep inhale here. Exhale, humble warrior. We'll start to hinge over that left leg, right hand, and left hand come back. Inhale, rising up, reaching up. Exhale, hands to prayer. Right foot meets the left. Good deep inhale. And then exhale, Tadasana. Go over to the other side, rising up, inhaling. Exhale, hands to prayer, left knee up. Inhale. Growing taller on the right side, and exhale, let's step back, warrior one. As we inhale, rising up, and we exhale, forward fold over that right leg. Humble warrior. Inhaling, rising back up, arms come up. Exhale, left foot to meet the right. Hands to prayer. Good deep inhale in. And then exhale, Tadasana. Rising up as we inhale, let's step into warrior two now. Exhale, hands to prayer, right knee up. Inhaling, growing taller on the left side. Exhale, we step way back with purpose and control. Right foot back, we inhale the arm up and over the body. Coming in to warrior two. As we inhale in, let's exhale and just bring our right left forearm down to top of thigh. Rise that right arm up, inhaling. And exhale, right arm up and over the body. Inhale, right arm comes back. Stay here. If you want to add more, you could take that left hand down toward the outer edge of the foot and gently bring that right leg up. We'll come into half moon. Rising that right foot up. Or stay exactly the way you are, just focusing on that outer quadricep of the left leg. Find another breath. Bring your gaze if you haven't already. And then gently step back into your warrior two. Everyone with both arms up, drishti over that left middle finger. Inhaling in. Exhaling out. Straightening out that left leg. We'll parallel the feet together. Arms out as we inhale. Exhale, hands to hips, inhaling in. And exhale, we're going to forward fold. As we forward fold, hands come down toward the mat, or hands can come to the block to bring the block and lift the floor up to you. Take a moment just to bend the right knee as you feel the left inner thigh, and then the left knee feeling the right inner thigh. So just taking some movement here, kind of free form, as you move a little back and forth. If you wanted more, you could take the arms out in a T-shape so you get a little bit more of the arms if you want. Not necessary, but it's there if you want. Inhaling in, exhaling out. Everybody to bring their hands down in front of us. If it's not there already, left hand to the mat. Right arm rises up to 12 o'clock. We'll come into a gentle twist. Again, feeling that left inner thigh. Finding your breath as you root down with the left hand and rise with the right. Right arm's gonna come back down and then we'll reach up with that left arm. Rising up to 12 o'clock. Rooting down with the right hand and rising up with the left. Left hand's gonna come back down again. We're gonna gently walk our hands out in front of us. Again, the feet are parallel. We're gonna take that right heel off the mat, sink that left heel in. Just feel that left hamstring as you do. Right heel is going to come back down now and we're gently going to bring that left heel off the mat. You may or may not feel anything. If it feels okay now to take both heels off the mat, go there. And then come back down. Walk the hands back toward the feet. Gently gentle bend in the knees and we'll start to roll the body up. We're going to start to sink the hips low. Coming in as we move side to side. Finding our breath, let's take our hands to cactus arms, sink low if it feels okay. Again, using the core to draw down toward the mat. Inhale as we bring ourselves into a shape of an X, exhale as we come down. Inhaling, reaching up and out, and exhale coming down, low as you want. Inhaling, rising. Taking a look up with gratitude for the ability to move our bodies today. Exhale, sinking low. 
reaching out. Good deep inhale. Exhale, sinking down. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, sinking down. Low as you want. Last time, inhale, rising up. And then exhale, hands come out, starfished out, right? We're gonna take that left foot, keep it parallel just like it is. Right foot's gonna come out, and then we'll start to sink into our warrior two now on this other side. I'm just gonna step back so I'm not out of this frame. We're gonna reach out, really sink into that right leg. So you know when we might go into half moon here too. If half moon's not in your practice, that's okay. Or you could play around with it, right? Inhaling in. Let's exhale, right forearm to top of thigh, rise up with that left arm. So you can be here, stay here, and focus on the core, rooting down, barely touching, and rising up with that left arm. You can even start to move and breathe. We're gonna all be there in a minute. But for those who wanna go into half moon, that right hand can be just into the top right corner, uh, just beyond the foot. And then gently start to bring that left foot off the mat. Hand can stay on the hips, so you can just focus first on balancing. Hand can also be to a block. And then if you want, you start to bring that gaze out toward the camera, toward the screen, coming into your half moon. As you rise up, smiling, feeling that nice extension, reaching out. Find one more breath in and out, and then gently bring yourself back to your warrior two, so we can all meet together. Inhaling in and exhaling out. Good deep inhale in and an exhale out. We're gonna circle the arms over and down, framing that right foot. Let's come into some lunges and then we're gonna make our way down to the floor. So just a little stretch here. A runner's lunge like you're gonna start a race. Now, if this doesn't work for you and you need to be hands on a block, then go there. Hands can be on a block, torso can be high. Remember, you can also do this from the chair, bringing your hands to the seat of the chair. Ball of that left foot is up, heel is off the mat. We're just stretching here. A gentle rock back and forth if it feels okay to you. And then we'll flex that left buttock and then relax it. Flexing the left buttock and then relaxing it. Left knee is going to come down now. Let's rise up with the arms. Shoelace is part of that left foot on the mat. Rise up. Good deep inhale. And an exhale. Come back. Hands to the block or the floor. Tuck the toes of that left foot under. Inhaling. And on the exhale, let's come up. Left foot meets the right. Right foot comes back. Let's come into a lunge now again. Again, right foot comes back as much as you'd like. You can roll up onto the ball of that right foot or not. Find movement or not. Flex that right buttock, everybody, though, so that that way you feel the power of that right leg, and then release it. Flex the right buttock, so really activating and honing in on the muscle group. That's what was able to lift us off to come into our half moons, or maybe one day our warrior threes. Inhaling in. Exhale down the right knee. Rise up on the inhale, both arms come up, reaching up. Exhale down the arms, tucking the toes under. Right leg comes off the mat, right foot comes to meet the left. We'll inhale up to a half lift. Exhale as we forward fold. Inhale, let's come all the way up to stand, reaching up. Exhale, let's forward fold. We're gonna make our way down toward the mat. All the way down. Let's come in, back on the mat, sole of the feet. On the mat. Let's come down. Start to draw the knees up toward the chest. Take a moment to rock a little side to side. Maybe you explored a new posture today. Or maybe you just found your grounding down and rising up. However you arrived on your mat today, you did so with gratitude. Take the knees slightly wider so you start to V-shape out the legs. Catching the feet with the hands, we'll come into happy laughing baby. 
Or remember, if this isn't possible for you and you have your strap close by, we should kind of just keep our stuff close by our mats as we're moving through this 21 day practice so we have lots of options available to us. So if we're not able to catch our feet but we do have a strap, we can bring the strap along the ball of the feet, the sole of the feet, and gently bring the knees down toward the armpits. So that's the option there. Or you could just catch the great toes, or you could catch the outer edges of the feet. However you are, come into your happy laughing baby, maybe with a little rock back and forth from side to side, being playful like a child would be. Gently taking one leg out and then the other, maybe feeling the inner thighs that we were working a little bit when we were stretching in our forward fold. Taking one leg out and then the other, finding your breath, finding a little happiness and laughter in this posture. Added layers, remembering that if you want, you could take an inhale in and an exhale to engage the pelvic floor muscles, engage the abdominal muscles, or just hang out the way you are. It's okay, either way. Removing the bind from the toes or the strap from the feet, take our feet into the shape of a V, gently bring our hands toward the inner knees, lower back is on the mat. Take a moment just to point and flex the feet. Letting us be in this upside down position with the legs, circling the ankles, just energizing the legs to get ready for this day. Today I'm going on a hike with my friends and so I'm excited about that. So just energizing the legs to get ready for some movement. Or maybe today you're just chilling out on your couch and that's great too. Whatever it is, I hope it's a good day for you today. Pointing and flexing the feet. Again, penduluming the ankles. I just made that word up. <laughs> and then we'll bring our feet up toward the ceiling. Hands down beside us for a moment. Let's do a little bit of abs. We're gonna do a little crossover. So we're gonna take our right hand to our left foot and then cross over, opposite. As you cross over, that opportunity to take the shoulders off the mat. Start to make your way down toward the ankles. Finding your breath here, and then toward the shins. Then to the knee. And the thigh. Once I get to the thigh, then really start to cross over. So you're using the oblique muscles, you're using the abdominals. And we find our breath. Really hone in on the stomach. Come all the way down to the hips. You could take both hands over to the thighs rather than crossing over if you wanted and see if you can go a little bit further. Do the same thing as you go up, maybe taking both hands over toward the left or right knee. Come up to the shins and then touching the ankles and touching the toes and then coming down. Let the neck just rest for a moment. Take a moment just to circle the feet so like you're going to paint the face of a clock with your heels. Feet are flexed. Go in the opposite direction. Make it count. So you take the feet toward the crown of the head. Hands are down beside you for stability. Make that circle so you're really using the core. Go big or go small. You can experiment with going bigger if it feels good. And then go in the opposite direction again. Pause here and bring the feet down. Find the heels with the fingertips. Let's do a little bit of bridge posturing as we inhale, lifting the hips up off the ceiling, toward the ceiling. Imaginary ball. We just gently start to bring the knees toward one another without touching. Exhale as we lower. Inhaling as we push up and exhale as we lower. Inhaling, bringing the hips up and exhale as we lower. Inhaling, coming up and exhale as we lower. Let's add the arms. Inhale, arms up, hips up. 
Pause here, lifting the hips up so we really push fullest expression, hips up toward the ceiling, exhale as we lower. Inhale, rising. Exhale, lowering. Inhale, rising. Exhale, lowering. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling and exhaling, coming all the way down. Gently bringing the knees back up toward the chest, hugging in. Little rock back and forth from side to side. Let's do a little twist here now. Taking our right knee in, extending our left leg long, let's hover that left leg a couple of inches above the mat as we kick out with that left heel, flexing the left butt up. Point and flex that left foot. Head can come off and start to look toward that left foot if you want a little bit of abdominal as you point and flex, or head can stay on the mat, your choice. Circling that left ankle, and then left leg is gonna come down. We'll press the left calf in, head comes down if it was up, and gently start to bring that right knee across the body toward the left side. Right hand is T-shaped out now. We start to take a glance over toward that left that right outstretched hand with the right shoulder resting on the mat. Good deep belly breath in and out. Remembering that inhalation and exhalation, that expansion and contraction in the twist. Finding your breath. Noticing if there's any tension in that right shoulder, just allowing a little bit of softening to occur in this twist. If you want, you could extend that right leg out, continuing it so it's going in the opposite direction. Just adding a little bit more if you wanted it. Again, you're just taking your left hand to that right outer thigh area and extending that right leg if you want to. We'll bring it back, taking the right knee back in toward the chest. Left leg's gonna come in, we're gonna extend that right leg long. So we bring that, hug that left knee in, extend the right leg long, hug, really reaching out with that right heel. On the inhale, we could draw our nose toward our knee. If you want, our head can stay down. We're gonna point and flex that right foot. So again, just a little bit of abdominal work. You could even take that right hand toward the right foot. Again, Focusing on that right quadricep too, maybe flexing the right buttock, finding your breath. And then head's going to come down if it wasn't already. Right calf presses in toward the mat. Left knee is going to come across the body, catching it in our right hand. And left arm is going to be T-shaped out. And we breathe here, letting the belly expand and contract. Belly expands and contracts. Letting the left shoulders just soften onto the mat. Belly expands and contracts. Left knee is going to come back toward the chest and we'll gently cross it over. Let's do a little figure four so we get a little bit of a hip stretch here again. So with our left ankle on our right, right leg, right knee, we're just generally going to push that left knee away from the body. Taking our left hand to the left knee, so keep the sole of the foot of that right foot on the mat. We're going to gently take that left knee across Cross the body and catch it in our right hand, T-shape out that left arm. So we're just coming into kind of a figure four twist. We've been doing figure fours a lot this week. I'm just adding a little twist here before we would take that right knee back up again. Right now just focusing on that left outer hip to give it a little bit of a release. You could even massage that left hip if that feels good to you. Sometimes that invites a deeper sensation, deeper release, if it's very tight. So 
Deep inhale in. Exhale out. Let's come back. So taking ourselves back toward midline as we're setting ourselves up for a general figure four stretch. Sole of that right foot still on the mat now. And we'll start to draw that right knee up if you want, or just keep sole of that right foot on the mat. Threading our hands through the legs and catching the back of that right hamstring, right thigh. We draw that right knee in, letting the neck be soft as we do. Today, maybe we're able to go a little bit farther, drawing that right knee in a little bit more. We push ourselves to our own personal edges without harming our bodies. We go slowly and methodically. Just exploring what we can do and how far we can go. In this 21 day practice, we have that ability to do that because we're moving our bodies every day. And so we notice new things that might come up. Or maybe we notice that we're able to go a little farther than we were the day before that. Maybe our hamstrings are a little less tight, maybe, or something like that. Left, right foot's gonna come down now. Left foot's gonna come down. Let's go over to the other side. So we're gonna take our right foot to our left knee. Gently press that right knee away from the body to start. Maybe that right hip is kind of talking to you after a little bit of work or the last uh, five, six days that we've been together, which I'm grateful for. We're gently gonna to start to draw, so sole that left foot's on the mat, right? And then the left foot's gonna to start to kind of gently kind of hinge over and come off. And then we're gonna catch that right knee with our left hand, we're just coming into a general figure four stretch twist, right? Taking that right knee across the body. We'll start to T-shape out our right arm. So just twisting over. Just notice how this side feels. Maybe it's not as tight as the other one. Or maybe you need to gently massage that right hip and invite a little release to it. Good deep breath in and out. Let's ride ourselves back so that we have our backs on the mat. Gently start to draw that left knee up toward the chest. We'll thread our hands through the legs, catching the back of that left thigh. Gently drawing that left knee in toward, hugging it in toward the chest. Make a circle with that left ankle. Finding your breath. Maybe drawing that left knee in a little more today than you did yesterday. Or not. Another good deep inhale in. And as you exhale, left foot down and right foot down. Let's bring the legs long now. Might feel really good to do that after we've been in these twists. Arms overhead as we reach and extend. Pressing in with the calves, toes come up toward the ceiling. Taking opposite hand and opposite foot as we stretch the body long. We can flick the wrists, make circles with the ankles as we lift and lower. Finding your breath as you move and breathe. So let's all come up to a legs up together. I'm gonna to give you different options to do that instead of just coming into Shavasana. So if you have your block, you can come back into a bridge pose, sole on the feet on the mat, knees bent. We simply lift the hips up, placing a block or a pillow underneath the sacral area, and then draw the feet up toward the ceiling. If you have access to a wall, you can bring your shoulders next to the wall, hip next to the wall, and gently bring the feet up the wall, being here. If you have neither of those two things and you have a chair, you can gently bring the calves toward the chair. And then sink the back low. 
So there's lots of options here to come into your version of V. Purita Karine. Again, energizing the legs so that we can move today, right? Have a little more energy today, maybe, if that's what you want. If today's a relaxing day for you, then today's a relaxing day for you. And that's awesome too. Find your way in your V. Purita Karine. We're only gonna be here for a couple of minutes. So it's the perfect time to explore that. And we breathe and just relax. Start with the crown of the head and just start to soften. Soften the jaw, soften the neck, soften the shoulders. Soften the belly. theme this week of really being mindful of presence when we're in front of someone. Making them feel like they might be the only person that you're going to talk to today. I see many nurses that I work with on Zoom and on Facebook today and I know that we do that. Yesterday I took care of 10 different OB patients, and I had to say the same thing to each one of them, each time, because they all had the same kind of procedure. But they're all different individuals. They all have their own worries and concerns. And so each message that I said, although the same message, was directed to them, and just like I was saying it for the first time. It's important that we practice presence. And so presence also means listening, right? Giving time to let the other person talk. So I found this reading from William Stringfellow, and I wanted to read that to you all today as you finish off your Viparita Karani upside down on listening. Listening is a rare happening among human beings. You cannot listen to the word another is speaking if you're preoccupied with your appearance or impressing the other or trying to decide what you're going to say when the other stops talking or debating about whether what is being said is true or relevant or agreeable. Such matters have their place, but only after listening to the word as the word is being uttered. Listening is a primitive art of love in which a person gives himself to another's word, making himself accessible and vulnerable to that word. William Stringfellow. Slowly start to make some movement to the fingers and to the toes. Opening and closing them, circling them, energizing as you start to wake the body up. From wherever you are, if you're on a block, slowly bring the legs down, lifting the hips up and taking the block away. If you were legs up to the chair, just rolling over toward the side, cradling your head and your arm. Same thing with legs up the wall. Take a moment to invite some kindness to yourself for coming to your mat today. It starts with you. And then it will ripple out and transmit to every being that you touch today. Animal, human, plant whatever it is. When you're ready, start to come up to that seat that we started off in our practice and maybe you start to bring the buttocks, introduce them to a block or to a blanket 
or maybe you just sit right on your mat and bring yourself tall, keeping the eyes closed or the gaze soft so we can finish off our practice together. As you sit up, finding a good deep inhale in. As you exhale, connecting your body with the mat that you're sitting on. And then bringing our hands to prayer. We feel the fingertips touch one another. We feel the aliveness of our hearts beating behind the chest. Without judgment, we notice how we feel. Maybe we're raring to go. Maybe we feel calm. Maybe we feel sad. Maybe we're elated. However we are, kindness to ourselves and how we arrive in this moment. In yoga, there's this belief that there's this divine spark in everyone. And it's located right here at our heart chakra, right where we have our hands together. The chakra affects our ability to be open to possibilities, to love. So with our hands to prayer, we'll gesture namaste to one another. Nama meaning we acknowledge the spark and the soul in this other person. Nama means bow, and Te means you. So I'm going to bow to you. As we inhale in, let's exhale and share the word Namaste together. Namaste. Thank you so much for letting me share this practice with you. Thank you to Sibley Hospital for the support. Thank you to everyone on Zoom for coming to your mats today. You really energized me and filled me up. And I'll look forward to practicing with you all tomorrow for our day seven together. Namaste and have a great day today.